hello there dear friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my champions league review for day two of the quarter finals today it was porto against chelsea football club and that ended up 2-0 to chelsea football club and another game was between bayern munich and psg and psg won away 3-2 let's start by talking about bayern munich psg to be honest with you no many people including me was expecting this kind of result everybody pretty much put uh that game to rest we all say that you know what their uh, psg are going to get punished and it's gonna be just a normal day in the office for bayern munich but guess what the last minute they got uh, somebody suffering with the virus uh serge serge ganabri and also lewandowski is not there uh, because he got injured on international duty and i think they still have some other injuries that but i don't have the names right now but let's face it guys it's still bayern munich the best team in the world you know the european champions the world cup you know champions when it comes to the clubs of course so they got everything they won everything in the space of five months so even their bench is so good that can compete in the champions league if that makes sense so lewandowski shouldn't really be an excuse for them not to score goals they still have uh, noya they still have muller they still have all the great players that we all know and PSG also got a lot of injuries, a lot of injuries. To be honest with you, their midfield was just like a Sunday league uh, midfield because look at Verratti and Paradise and I can go, the list is on. So nobody really was going to give any excuse here because they both have problems and they both are great players and great teams. So great teams got great players even from the bench so i think psg got their revenge today by winning away but make no mistake because it's not over yet Kylian Mbappe, the man of the game the man of the match today and he was showing some sign to erling Haaland, like Haaland, who you know i got two but you got none <laughs> kind of but hey um this is just a joke but Kylian Mbappe was on fire I think many people got on him when he missed those chances in the final of the Champions League last season and this season he was determined to show people that they are wrong to criticize him and Mbappe is right there it's gonna be interesting to see how this is going to end up man between Haaland and Kylian Mbappe next summer hopefully one of them is coming to Chelsea Football Club. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on and talk about the second game between Chelsea Football Club and Porto. Chelsea played away, but of course in a neutral ground. So it doesn't matter because the second leg also is going to be played in the same neutral venue. So I don't see it as an away or home uh advantage you know what i'm trying to say here but it was a very good game so if you haven't checked on uh the the review that i did on the green turf youtube channel the video got a lot of details so i'm not gonna repeat everything that i've already said in that video please head to the green turf and uh, check on that video anyways chelsea 2 Porto one Manson Mount, what a goal. That's what you got when you shoot the damn ball. Okay? Because a Chelsea football club, we are allergic to shooting the ball. Every time you shoot the ball in the box or on target, something can happen. A deflection, a goalkeeper can make a mistake, you can get a red card, anything is possible. And Manson Mount took his chance and it was a beautiful goal and uh, ben shewell ben shewell of old people i heard all kind of uh, complaint from people okay 
we made a mistake 50 million blah 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 english players are expensive and they are just overrated blah 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 but i think ben she will been justifying his 50 million price tag he's still young he still can improve he's very good defensively and also offensively but in the chelsea community we write off people very quickly if we if you flop for a couple games you are out you are nobody we need to go somewhere else and search for somebody else please people be patient sometimes you have to be very patient with players because just like anything in life you need time you need time to get to a certain level in that game Callum Hasnadoy didn't play and I'm just wondering if it was Frank Lampard not playing Callum Hasnadoy who apparently is on top form right now but not playing Olivier Giroud started on the bench and all that we don't question anything right now because we are winning the end of the day you can suffer you can suffer for 90 minutes and if you score two goals in stoppage time you are the hero everybody is going to forget the 90 minutes that you had like a very hard time they are going only to remember the final decision the final result the point i'm trying to make here is that people need to stop making assumption and blaming managers and players you don't know what is happening behind closed doors and of course depending on your agenda you're gonna get on a particular player or a manager just to fit your agenda at the end of the day a manager can't please 25 players in the squad if you know what i mean certain players are not going to be happy no matter what a player is happy when he plays games so Tammy Abraham Olivier Giroud or Billy Gilmo they are not happy because they are not playing they want to play by the end of the day are you gonna blame the manager for not playing them when he's winning with another team that is another question maybe rotation was going to help but also keep in mind the manager just took over in a very bad situation he need to win he need to trust a group of players instead of changing and twisting all the time so if you look outside the box okay you look the situation from another perspective you take your agenda away for a minute you will see that uh, managers are always right or always wrong depending on the way you see it anyways let me know what do you think about the semi-finals do you see chelsea and psg making it or you still think that uh, anything is possible in football and they might lose and uh, get eliminated let's have a conversation god bless you don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a like and see you in the next one